This, if you're a fan like me, you'll agree that Full House is among the best sitcoms ever. So do you want to join me today? Grab a chair, sit by the campfire, and we'll live this great show together. We'll travel through the entire cast, past and present, reminiscing about those who have left us and celebrating those who still shine. Are you ready? Let's dive in and rekindle some incredible memories. Joan Sanderson played the character Mrs. Hartfield in a sitcom when she was 74 in 1986. Sadly, on May 24, 1992, she left us due to natural causes at 79 in Norwich, England, UK, were deeply saddened by passing. Mother, what are you doing here? Why didn't you get my letter? Just. Oh, and I sent it first class. I wrote to tell you I'm having a house decorated. Billy Willie, Harry C, Harry Dick, John Harry 3, 1, 2, 3, Ned's Richard 2, Henry 4, 5, 6, then who? Edward 4, 5, Dick the Bad, Harry's Twain, and Ned the Lad, Mary Bessie, James the Vane, Charlie, Charlie, James again. Sherry Hilson played the character Phyllis in the sitcom when she was 35 in 1985. See, at 73, she's living a fulfilling life full of passion right here in Beeston, UK. Morning just for the weekend, and it's a baby. <laughs> <laughs> is it yours? No, we found it. <laughs> of course it is, it's Lindy. She's six months old. Oh, hope you don't mind us bringing it. Well, yes, there was a plot as long as he doesn't yeah. take his clothes off. Yeah. <laughs> and then I've got to face all that. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Clothes off. Oh, no. No, I... Brian K. Brown played the character Murray McCoy in a sitcom when he was 38 in 1985. See, at 77, he's living a fulfilling life full of passion right here in England, UK. Oh, come on, Diana. You know, I never look at another woman. You don't need to. You do it all by feel. <laughs> Gordon, Bennett, you're stuck. I, I think there was something darkly comic about the character, so people always... Um, it's always a bit tongue-in-cheek, I think, you know, but yeah. uh, I get people who just kind of... Diana King played the character Mrs. Hatfield in the sitcom when she was 66 in 1985. Sadly, on July 31st, 1986, she left us due to natural causes at 67 in Nettles, Oxfordshire, England. We're deeply saddened by passing. Is there anything I can get you? A duster, perhaps? <laughs> <laughs> just my little Jim, dear. <laughs> Well, there they are. Where's the key? Is everybody taking it up, Basil? Oh, right. And is Major Lloyd here? How's everything? I'm going to take your cases upstairs. Christopher Strawley played the character Paul Hatfield in a sitcom when he was 39 in 1985. See, at 77 years old, he's living a fulfilling life full of passion right here in Hertfordshire, England. It not have made much difference, Mr. Hitler. I promise there will be no more than 20 guests. There were more than 50. Yeah, well, it was near enough. I found two of them snogging on our bed. <laughs> Look, Mr. Myers, you don't have to put on an act for me. Act? Who do I act for in here? I mean, where's the bloody audience, eh? I mean, I don't, I, I don't act for paper, you know. I could be working. Glyn Edwards played the character Mr. McCoy in a sitcom when he was 55 in 1986. Sadly, on May 23rd, 2018, he left us due to natural causes at 87 in Edinburgh, Scotland. Were deeply saddened by his passing. Well, I have been evicted. My sister, your auntie, has cast me out like so much garbage. <laughs> I'm surprised it's that you're in. Yes, well, I... And so I took it on tour. And did quite well, but suddenly, as the tour, uh, the tour finished, actually, when pantomime season started, because... Jeremy Bullock played the character Bob in the sitcom when he was 40 years old in 1985. Sadly, on December 17, 2020, he left us due to Parkinson's disease at 75 in Tooting, London, England. We're deeply saddened by his passing. They were only here for the weekend. Well, to start at the beginning. Not the very beginning. I think they can imagine that bit. <laughs> <laughs> well, when I first discovered I was expecting... Dad, we've got homework to do. You know, we'll talk later. Yeah. The worst thing I could do was bend down and then put on the knee pads, which had little darts that fired. Louis English played the character Girl in Cafe in a sitcom when she was 23 in 1985. See, at 61, she's living a fulfilling life with a passion right here in Bow, London, UK. A car, transport. It's embarrassing being the only people in the street who never get parking tickets. I've been saving for months. Oh, I'm sure we could get a bank loan or hire a person. Amounts of 
money next to. So I was told about this note. I didn't see it for myself, but I was told about it, and I was very touched by it. Adida Brista played the character Georgina in the sitcom when she was 25 in 1986. See, at 62, she's living a fulfilling life full of passion right here in Prague, Czech Republic. Oh yes! Sorry, did I get you out of bed? Bed? Oh yes, your hair, it's all... <laughs> Sabina Franklin played the character Marsha Hatfield in the sitcom when she was 31 in 1985. See, at 69, she's living a fulfilling life full of passion right here in London, England. I can't understand why some men can't notice when their wives look at them like that. Perhaps because they're a bit thick. Yeah, you could be right. Uh, Marsha, huh? Robert James played the character Dr. McKenna in the sitcom when he was 62 in 1986. Sadly, on July 31st, 2004, he left us due to Alzheimer's disease at 80 years old in Middlesex, England were deeply saddened by passing. Indeed. Well, it's none of my business. Um, does the house have any structural defects? No, but... Richard Caldicott played the character Mr. Curtis Lowe in the sitcom when he was 77 in 1985. Sadly, on October 16, 1995, he left us due to cancer at 87 in London, England, were deeply saddened by passing. I swear you said Friday. You did, I did. Mm. But today's Thursday. It is? When's Friday? Tomorrow. Ah! Oh, well, I better come back tomorrow then. <laughs> no, please. Nicholas Day played the character Mr. Blandford in the sitcom when he was 39 in 1985. See, at 76, he's living a fulfilling life full of passion right here in Gillingham, UK. Oh, well, thank you. It's a very nice house we have here. Rather big for two, but then, of course, you have help, don't you? Help? Yes, I'm sure I saw a... Okay, let's chat. Who is your favorite character in Full House? Please comment and share interesting things below this video. And as always, show some love. Hit the like button, subscribe for more, and hit the bell to never miss my new content. I can't wait to create more wonderful memories with you. Thanks so much and stay tuned for more. See you again as soon as possible.